Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Strategic Minds Fight for Freedom. We're uh, here once again with the Dunkirk uh, scenario, and we're now tasked with evacuating uh, quite a sizable amount of British and uh, French forces, etc., etc. So let's get on with it. I also need to destroy some part of the uh, enemy air force. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll snag the prestige or the uh, experience here. That's a fifth. That's ah, a shame I don't get the prestige back. Oh well. Uh, uh. Hey. It seems like the French have an easier time leaving. I don't know why it's working like this, but uh, okay, so we do actually see whether they're British or French. Need to protect this thing too. I hope it will not get destroyed. Uh, these are French forces too. That makes things a bit easier. Uh, oh yeah, this is the port. This isn't. So, I guess that's kind of weird. Let's just see if there are any of these are French. Let's at least make sure I can get those guys out. Since I'm sure they're supposedly part of those French troops indeed. Okay. Um, let's attack them. since they were easy pickings after all. Rotate them a little bit. Mm. 
Let's attack it. And then use the infantry. Ha! And even got a new hero available. That also gets me to 100% now. Now, I'd be very glad to give them inspiring leader. Which increased my number of command points by five. That's very useful. We'll see whether they're actually going to go in there. I'd like to use a regular infantry to go in there, but if I can't, I can't. We'll, uh, we'll see. Mm. Might have to use a recon for it though. These are Frenchies, they should be evacuated, and then I can put this British unit right about there. Lock that off. Still seem to be good, so why not? So my fighter can deal three, and I think at the very least I can trap the fighter through this way, which means that should at the very least be a sixth. And the AI is not so devious that they will move with other things first I think currently though I will keep these two in there I'll move you back Same there, just for a bit. Uh, they might get it quite rough there, though. Yeah. Don't really have much of a choice. Alright, so they will go on ships too. Uh, 
Certainly don't need all of those defenses. So I can already get a few of them back. Let's see what's next. If we still have some units. Stay there, stay there for now. It's a bit sad that there was nothing I could do there because I got it on their turn. Oof, that sucks. Okay, not sure what happened there. Let's try that one again. Sincerely hope I won't have to replay the turn, but I'll try to go through things a bit more quickly now. Hopefully that will avoid the problem. Now we'll see. Seems like I'm past the problem now. Fresh German divisions have entered the area of operations. They'll have reached Dunkirk by tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's fine. Although, again, it does mean that I need to up the amount of units that I need to kill. That's actually uh, quite unfortunate. But I'll try to do it anyway. Now, uh, sadly, they're going to get hit or not. Hmm. Weird. Anyway. Uh, 
Wasn't it like... Well, maybe it's because I already have two ships that... Uh, They cannot make more or something. I mean, that does seem to be the case here. Uh, So Oh, you can potentially kill these My soldiers report no more Luftwaffe raids. It seems your tactic was completely justified. I believe this is a temporary relief, Bernard. But it's a relief nonetheless. Let's be thankful for it. Sure. Especially for the 200 prestige. Um, so then there's still a last objective. Move you here. These to the back. So with them retreating there, you guys going in here. Feel I can at least kill the recon. That didn't actually count, unfortunately. Not too sure why. But I might be able to kill this tank too. Every uh, little bit helps after all. With regards to infantry, it doesn't seem like it's worthwhile that much, but it still got me a little bit. Probably. Well, less than a percent, I suppose, but... That is still something. I'll be looking to get the uh, char units to a place of battle. And 
Again, I actually think these guys can hold there for now. Once more. I do have the trouble that forces will be coming from up there now. We'll see how that holds. At the very least, the unit like that should definitely just move. And I'll try to get these guys also back. Stay in there for one more turn so that these guys can properly retreat back. And move you back one hex. Should put a unit in that there or here, I mean. So they can send another two ships on the next turn, or four ships in total. Since they do seem to be having a limit. Um, do I need to retreat here? I'll get one of them back. And then you next turn, and then they can move by by truck later. I think. Actually, let's move these guys by truck now. Let's just abandon that. They can probably still just move around any which way to that way into the city itself. You'll be able to keep them under wraps. Mm-hmm. Need to keep a hold on that airfield, but I think that'll be just fine. Uh, yeah, so they'll be holding. I have my two bombers. I might use them in the future, but not now. And that's it for this turn. Seems like they'll be able to get another plane on that bomber there. Oh wow, I really thought Bunker Flak had less defense. But okay. Well, that sucks.
Seems at least like that one Belgian unit uh, held them quite nicely there. Wow, that's a lot of damage there. Haha. Uh -huh. That's not so defensible as you might like. Snap. We. <laughs> Dude, we're. <laughs> Where you go? <laughs> this uh, game is a lot more riddled with bugs than the last one. Ugh. Okay. I'm surprised they can do that without actually crashing. Well, they're not my unit, so... That's fine. Even if they die. But obviously I will not be able to evacuate all the French forces for the moment. Um, Let's focus on the Frenchies, since they, uh, will need to leave first anyway. Let's also make sure that there will be constantly house to house fighting here. Um. They shouldn't be too troublesome. Ugh. I really want to give them the kill here, but... Well, like that ain't happening. They'll still get five experience, or three. That's okay. I wonder if I'll go over it because I'm not. That would ultimately have been ideal.
That's French force number eight. That will be number nine. They can be number 10. So what I need to do here is go after the bunker flock. Deal with the fighter. Good. Next, let's get the Renault tank out. Certainly, uh, Interesting mission in terms of defensiveness, but Again, they don't actually tell you that they cannot go that far. But let's see what we can make of it anyway. Non-lethal? Hmm. It was still non-lethal, at least. Okay.
Now. Let's put up another defensive. Uh, oh. oh, shit. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Um, problem is, is that there I will have a bit of trouble holding them. Well, I can hold them. Let's go in here. You in here. They don't seem to yet be coming from that side. I should just be able to move these guys back too. I think I can get those Frenchies out fast enough. They're not attacking, certainly. Keep moving. So you can actually go a bit further. Down there. I have to say, though, I didn't expect those uh, German units to be able to go through like that. They don't even seem to have killed any of my units, but then they just indeed went straight through. So I didn't have any units there now. The recon, yeah. That's one of the big problems. They have so many units that they'll just waltz right through. Okay, well, those are evacuating. General, the Germans are deploying their reserves. Those units will be combat ready in 24 hours. Hey, look, I'm just trying to get my troops out, man. Uh, that's a French unit. 
this will be a French unit. Alright, let's deploy the bombers. I mean, I have no way of uh, seeing that unit. So... Okay. <laughs> right, well that obviously was gonna lead to a crash. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just... Uh do it differently then get them onto the ships like that anyway and okay yeah that's fine We've evacuated most of the French forces to Britain, but many had to stay behind and cover our retreat. I see. Well then, war never changes. They have my gratitude. Despite our debacle in France, we managed to save a lot of personnel, both ours and allied. Those men live to fight again thanks to you, General Alexander. Uh, sure, but I still need a while. Uh, I actually now don't need to save this unit, and I'll be putting British troops in there. Uh, so let's make sure we can uh, cover our asses. Because for the French it doesn't really matter anymore at this stage, but I can still hold the enemy off for a bit. Now certainly the French unit is going in. Actually, let's undo that. British going in here, French in here. These guys are going there. You and there use the smoke grenade. Uh, and let's go back. I only need to get British out now, so. Let's focus on getting at least two British units there every single turn. I did lose uh, one French unit there. But luckily it, it wasn't a, a core unit, so... Okay, um...
Let's see what kind of defense I can hold this time. Happy these guys did hold. So. Yeah, they can get the experience. They had it the hardest after all. Let's go in here. It would be a problem if that enemy recon were to suddenly come from there and do something nasty, but... That is altogether not so likely anymore. Oh, wow. They can go by truck and then pull back. Pull back. You can go out a little bit to protect this side. I don't think there's going to be any trouble there, but you never know. Um. Hmm. Why not, right? So, by this point, it should take me only one more turn after this. And now we should be set. Quite a successful Dunkirk mission, if I say so myself. Even the rain is actually helping here. Um, huh, it seems like my troops still got caught behind enemy lines somehow.
but so uh, we uh, should also need wrap things up here. So Frenchy, and I want the British in there. And there we go. So do evacuate next turn. All I need to do now is hold the line. No planes. I could probably kill this other recon too, so let's do it. And what I'll do is I'll land in there, go out with them, attack, they'll retreat. And now I can kill them with the other fighter for some more experience. These, however, need to move in there. Hmm. I mean, that kind of sucks. They'll, they'll be problematic once more, but... Nothing I can do there. Also, this is a bit of an opening. Well, of course, I have the tanks and stuff. And they at least no longer have any recon. Let's make use of that. Also kill them there. What is this Panzer for? Uh, well, they shouldn't die from this. Oh, it's close, yeah, so they will die. <laughs> Snap. Um, whatever, I'm still moving them. Mm. Funnily enough, they actually. Oh. <laughs> they still leave, eh? Yep, let's retreat them back a little bit. Of course, we have these guys behind the lines, but a kind of reestablished contact there. And uh, let's get these guys up to the British, and that should be it. So the only thing that's out there are these two fighters, but I should be set now. Let's wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Again, this shouldn't be a bother. I would have probably been able to evacuate all my units, but uh, let's not get fuzzy.
General Brook, the evacuation is over. Most of our personnel have been sent back to Britain. Those are great news, General Alexander. In our boldest estimates, we couldn't imagine saving so many. Thank you for your excellent service. His Majesty will be informed of this achievement. General Alexander, despite all adversity and against all odds, you've made the most of the horrific situation at Dunkirk. This day shall go down in history. Never before has our nation been so united. But we must be very careful not to assign to this deliverance the attributes of a victory. Wars are not won by evacuations. Still, this has given us a much needed fighting chance. There we are. Uh, so we already got all the ob objectives, so we're, we're done here. Um, we'll get promoted to general. We'll get the Grand Croix de l'Ordre National de la Légion d'Honneur. Plus one air defense and hard defense to the HQ unit. And we'll get the Companion of the Most Honorable Order of the Bath. Plus one command point. Let's wrap it up. So the evacuation of Dunkirk is over. The last of the transports have just departed. Good Lord, we have made it. We're the last ones left, sir. The boat is waiting. We are told that Herr Hitler has a plan for invading the British Isles. This has often been thought of before. When Napoleon lay at Boulogne for a year with his flat bottom boats and his grand army, he was told by someone, There are bitter weeds in England. There are certainly a great many more of them since the British Expeditionary Force returned. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. Well, I guess that was that. Uh, let's take a look at the campaign map. Seems like... Uh, France has been taken, obviously. And now we're going for Operation Compass. Advance on Tobruk and take control of the Libyan coast. That's what we're going to go for next. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.